is the Zion line going the Kobe route now too. I ain't complaining. What's up guys, Vinny here with Sneaker Tweaker and welcome back to another video. Today we have our first impressions on the Jordan Zion 3. Now, this is a far departure from the one and then the two. The one was a completely different design. It was kind of low cut, but it seemed like it had like this balloon for the outsole or the cushion. And then you had the two, which was built more sturdier and heavier, it kind of was a reminder of a LeBron shoe. And then you have now the three, which is probably the most minimalistic out of all of them. This is the mud, sweat and tears colorway. And it was the very first one to release. They do come in this box right here which is a pretty I would say basic box I mean um, it's Zion's logo I think it's pretty cool but overall it's, it's a box it does what boxes do it keeps the shoe all together you have the Jordan logo the Zion logo and then the number three now as for the shoe I've already worn these once I've played a couple games in it and there were some things just right off the bat that stood out to me on top of that I also did some tests traction squeak cushion all that good stuff as I said some things did stand out to me but as always let's start it off with the traction the jordan zion 3 features a multi-directional traction pattern which you have herringbone in the forefoot that goes all the way pretty much to the midfoot just a solid rubber portion right here and then the rest which is a translucent portion that one is more of a radial pattern and overall the traction just on my first wear it performed pretty solidly um, i will say though if dust does collect you have to wipe or else there is some sliding the traction isn't perfect right off the bat now it might get better the more i wear it this was just an initial wear and i cannot stress that enough stay tuned for the performance review for pretty much after I've, I'm done testing this out. Initially though, it did leave a little bit to be desired. Do have to wipe the dust in order for it to actually perform at its best. It does collect it pretty frequently, I would say. And I kind of had to pay attention to that. On top of that, the durability as it's looking right now, especially on the translucent. And, and I thought I get, hold on. I thought it was just a translucent, but even the solid rubber right here, you guys can see right all around this forefoot area, it's already starting to wear down after just one session. I wouldn't even say it was a full session. Played maybe one, two games in this. Again, the traction isn't looking very durable. If you didn't know any better and you were just kind of feeling it the rubber does feel pretty thick i wouldn't say it's like the most pliable or anything and the grooves are deep so just based off that you wouldn't know hey is the, is the traction going to last it's not but from testing it out at least for one session it doesn't seem like it's going to be the most durable so i would uh be cautious taking these outdoors now if you only do play outdoors and hey by all means take them out they're available so i don't think you're ever going to have to pay more than retail go for it now as for the feedback and the squeak that is present so if you like that squeak you'll get it in these shoes it seems as though dust collection and just kind of sticking to it is also an issue i pretty much tried wiping these areas right here after i'm done i always try and wipe down my shoes after i'm done hooping and it just kind of stayed so they do get dirty pretty quickly and the dust just kind of sticks on there particularly on the translucent portions now the good or the, i guess the best part is that your strike zones and where your main traction areas would be is a solid rubber outsole but like i said even that's kind of tearing down already um that's a little bit of a disappointment however i will test them out and see how much more the traction does wear down over time once the performance review is ready to be released stay tuned for that performance review again traction is solid but it did leave a little bit to be desired on durability and just on dust collection now the cushion in itself is a drop in midsole on the zion threes you do have this drop in midsole which is formula 23 and then you do have this zoom unit bottom loaded in the forefoot cushion is pretty decent i wouldn't say it's amazing the psi and just pressing this zoom unit you kind of feel it's a little bit higher so there isn't too much compression within the cushion that could very well break in more over time i just wouldn't say right off the bat you're going to feel that springiness and that bounce now someone bigger than me might i'm only about 5'8 190 someone again bigger taller heavier is going to 
probably press down on the zoom unit more and potentially get more energy return. But the nice thing with this drop in midsole is you also do get this TPU midfoot shank plate that goes pretty much from the midfoot to the lateral side of this drop in midsole just for added support and just keeping your foot in the footbed. And for torsional support, that's going to just help out in all senses. Even this drop in midsole, you can't really twist and bend. Now the Formula 23 carrier, I would say is a lot more plush than Formula 23 that I've tried on before, particularly in the Jordan 37, the Luca 1, and also the Luca 2. So I would I would say this is probably the best iteration of it that I've tried so far. Cushion wise, it's decent. It's not amazing. It's not terrible. I would say it's kind of like right in the middle. If you do want a lot of cushion, I probably would say it's not going to be the best shoe for you. Or I mean, if you don't care for cushion, then hey, th this will work out. Now, as for the fit, I would say the Zion 3s do fit true to size. I pretty much was able to put them on and good to go. Really feels like I do need some breaking in time though with these. I did get some pressure in my forefoot and in my midfoot. Not only that, but it did cause a blister on top of my big toe. I, I don't know if it was blister or ripped my skin off, I couldn't tell. But there was pinching in my left foot on my big toe. So it, it, it did a number on my big toe and it kind of stings right now too. However, that could very well change over time the more the shoe is broken in. Now, if that doesn't change over time, I guess I'm just going to have to tough it out and test these out. However, most times things like that do tend to break in. And even like with my socks, I wear cushion socks. So it pretty much had to put a lot of pressure just to do that to my toe. So if you are wanting to hoop in the Zion 3s, be prepared to go through some pain. Potentially though, it might be worth it. I mean, Zion's I get from what I've seen, he's having a good year so far and he's able to stay on the court. Maybe the shoes have something to do with it. Now, as for the materials and the support, the Zion 3s have a textile upper with a bunch of TPU overlays, like looks like paint splatter on top of the shoe. The colorway in itself is kind of this mint colorway. And then these paint splatter looking portions are all TPU reinforcements going throughout the shoe. And that's just, again, to help with reinforcement. You do also have this, pretty much this TPU um, piece going on the lateral side. It's a pretty big and sturdy piece on the heel. And then you have a nice big one over here, a kind of in the forefoot medial area. You also have a outrigger in the forefoot, but you also have this giant outrigger on just the middle of your foot on, on the lateral side. So on your midfoot area, this is going to be really good as far as just keeping you sturdy and just giving you a nice wide base. That alone will help a lot as far as, you know, protecting against rolled ankles and whatnot, because that'll pretty much, it, it pretty much acts like a, a, as a tip counter. So y it'll stop and it'll keep it from tipping over that way. Most ankle rolls, I would say, I mean, all ankle rolls generally just go this way and that should stop it. And going back, I guess, to the cushion, and this will kind of be part of the support as well, is this midfoot chain plate that's part of the drop in midsole. So overall, the shoe is pretty sturdy. You do also have TPU portions, these large TPU portions, plastic portions on the medial side as well, the same way you do ha have on the lateral side. There isn't really any, I would say, overlays on the upper besides these paint splatter portions. Generally, you do get some overlays in the forefoot or in the toe box area. It looks like it is kind of reinforced with the material. It's a thicker piece in the toe box, but as far as the TPU overlays, there's not really anything else. Now the upper also does seem to get dirty because this textile upper is very cloth-like. It tends to get dirty pretty quickly. So if people step on this, especially a lighter color, you're going to see that. Um, last but not least, as far as the support, you do have this giant Zion logo on the heel, which pretty much acts as a heel counter, it's pretty sturdy. And then you do have this, I would say, leather overlays just going from your forefoot all the way to the to the heel. Um, and that's pretty much on both sides. And this is more of a, I guess, a visual feature. This reminds me of the Way of Weight or the Wade 8083, which gives you a window into the shoe where the drop in midsole goes. Now the 8083 now features holes over there just to kind of let your foot breathe this one doesn't necessarily have that it's just more for looks i would say the zion 3 in a size 9 without the drop in midsole weighs in at 
10.7 ounces. And if you're looking at it with the midsole, 13.3 ounces. Overall, I would say for a size nine, the weight is right around average. I also did forget to mention that you do also have these little cushion areas on the tongue on the Zion 3. So for lace pressure, that'll help as well. As for the retail price, the retail price on the Jordan Zion 3 is priced at $140 believe that's a 10 or 20 dollar markup from last year for me and just playing experience so far i've enjoyed these minus the occasional wipe the durability of the traction i guess i want to say occasional it's a pretty regular wipe that you have to do on the traction just to not slip and then i would say probably just that issue with the fit and pinching my big toe and my left foot other than that the shoe is great um i would say with the drop in midsole and everything that's a nice touch kind of nike going back to that with a signature line i know the gt cut did it i'm hoping the gt cut 3 and i might it might, just might be wishful thinking at this point i saw that it has a zoom x midsole i'm hoping hoping it also has zoom but the more and more i see it the more and more it seems like wishful thinking they may have gotten rid of zoom in the gt cut line and uh yeah that kind of uh ticks me off so hopefully they come up with better cushion setups now a lot of people also ask us where we get our basketball socks from the answer is from amazon they come in a pack of three that costs just as much as one pair of nike elite socks the ones we have are these two muted colors which the white one and the black one and they are quarter length so if you guys like quarter length they have them available in that but they also have them in the high top version like i said they come in a pack of three that costs just as much as the nike elites and these are pretty much the same thing but with Without the Nike branding. They're cushioned, they're ventilated, and they're amazing socks and they last a long time. If you guys do want a pair, hit the link in our description down below and go grab yourselves a pack. Not a pair, grab yourselves a pack. If you guys are wanting to see pretty much the final verdict with these, stay tuned for the performance review on the Jordan Zion 3. That should be coming here in the next few weeks. And if you guys have already played in it, let us know your experience down below. If there are other shoes you guys would like us to test out, again, comment down below. For more content like this, please like, subscribe, and follow. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.